Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Aras Halls and DIYs. Hello everybody. And I hope everybody's doing well. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you're my one of my loyal subscribers, hello my babies. Um today I'm going through some stuff with my family and it's just been really hard but um I'm okay health wise I haven't been feeling very well my heart has been well giving me trouble I did have open heart surgery as you can see um but I never recuperated from it. So I take injections every day and just been stressing about things that are going on in my family. And well, life goes on, right? So with that being said, um, after you watch my content, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up um and if you're new here what are you waiting for join the family so you can have fun with us here um and also hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video and i love you mis amores today my video is gonna be in english and spanish because i know that i have a lot of spanish friends that don't understand english and i want them to join me as join all of us as well and see um what i make as a diy because today is a diy diy i lose it sometimes because this brain here is all over the place so i don't want to drown you with my drama you didn't come here for that you came here to see me diy and for that let's get into it why won't we huh hola mis amores welcome to my channel bienvenidos a mi canal este aras yo hago aquí decoraciones y también hago colecto aquí en las tiendas y después hago un, como es una enseñanza de lo que yo he comprado a ver si a usted le gusta lo que yo he comprado para que usted también lo compre so gracias por venir a mi canal um, thank you for coming back to my channel and watching me do my DIY um, hoy les tengo el booty de un conejo entonces yo voy a sacar eh, el rabo y las patitas y voy a usar el color de rosa para las patitas el gris para el cuerpo y el blanco para el rabito so on today's DIY I will be taking the pieces off of the butt the bunny's butt because I love bunny butts and so the bunny's butt is going to be the tail is going to be white with this beautiful soft, um, what is it that they call it? Just chili, just something, but it's a beautiful soft like yarn. Um, and so for the body, I will be using gray and for the little paws, I will be using pink. And so. Lo que quiero decirle es que este, este, esta tela que yo voy a usar es bien suavecita, bien suavecita. It's, and they're from the Dollar Tree, son del, de la tienda de peso. Los puedes encontrar ahí. Esto, así es que se llama la, el material. Entonces, uh, después que yo termine, pues le voy a poner esto encima. After I'm done doing the DIY, I will be putting the truck on para que lo puedan enganchar con esto, con el, con el hierro este que traí. 
so they can hang it up with this piece of iron that's here um and yeah so that's how the diy is gonna be and so i am going to start a little bit of the diy i don't want to make it too too long for you guys see i pulled the tail right off no quiero hacerlo muy largo para ustedes para que no, no se aburran de estar aquí conmigo esto pero hay que hacer esto con un poquito de delicadeza porque se pueden romper mi gente you gotta be gentle with these things because they can break and you don't want them to break because you're trying to do a DIY with them obviously right so you try to take it off as gentle as possible so they don't break de sacarlo lo más you know, lo más suavecito posible que lo puedas sacar porque la pega parece que es bien fuerte the glue feels like it's real strong so se le, le llevó como un pedazo ahí pero eso no es nada porque yo lo voy a cubrir that, the glue took a little bit off right there but it's okay because I will be covering that with um, with some yarn so it's not a big deal I just don't want them to break. And they put pretty good glue on this. I tell you that. La pega no es fácil. La pega que le ponen no está fácil. And some of it came off from here, but it's okay because I will. I can, you know, <clears throat> sand block it off with the sand and then this stuff here just peel it off i will be covering this yo como quiera le saco los pedacitos que tiene de madera y como quiera lo lo voy a tapar so, esto va a estar tapado y las patitas pues voy a empezar con el hilo color de rosa i'm gonna start with the pink yarn as you can see um it is very soft very thick um so i'm gonna start in the bottom and this is gonna be the back of the foot. So I'm gonna start putting a little bit of glue here. And then, um, right there. Right there. And then, cause I want it to go around. Um, I need to put a little bit of glue right there right there so it stays right there ponerle un poquito de pega ahí para que se quede ahí porque yo quiero que dé la vuelta entonces si no le pongo suficiente peguita no va no va a coger tú entiendes no que le pongas mucha mucha que te vayas a quemar pero suficiente que, que aguante que vaya aguantando porque después que uno lo ponga ahí la primera vez la segunda vez va cogiendo el truquito de dar la vuelta tú me entiendes entonces de vez en cuando little by little this is gonna take time so poquito a poquito uno le va poniendo chipititos de pega para que se pegue y se quede pegadito Para que se pegue y se quede pegadito. Yo es que, mira, estoy acostumbrada a hacer estas cosas y pegármelas del pecho. Para. Porque sea más fácil para mí. Pero se me olvida que necesito ponerla más para donde ustedes, para que ustedes puedan verla. ¿Verdad? Y entonces, déjame arreglar esto un poquito aquí. Porque está mal puesto. Bueno, yo lo que voy a hacer es que voy a seguir con esto y vengo para atrás cuando termine con las patitas. Ya más o menos yo le enseñé. I kind of showed you guys what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be going around, around the paws and around the paws and around the paws. Um, 
and I will be doing that to the, the one of this, to this puff and to this puff. So, vengo para atrás. Cuando venga para atrás, estos dos van a estar hechos. Vamos a comenzar con el rabito. Ok. Hello, everybody. And so we're back. Um, the two little paws are done. Um, so now let's move on to the tail. Um, let's see. I have a little tangle here, but nothing I can't fix. So, we're going to start. This is the back side. It's kind of rough. We're going to start doing a little glue spot right here. Right there. And then I'm going to put it right there. But I'm going to push it down with my little silicone spatula. Because like that it doesn't stick to my finger. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some loops around the tail and see if we get this done because this is my first time doing this yes it is my first time doing this and so we will try to do it as best as possible y volvimos otra vez mi gente Volvimos, aquí estamos con el rabito. Terminé con las patitas. Comencé con el rabito. Entonces, espero que me salga bien porque es mi primera vez haciendo esto. De, del conejito. No sé si dejarlo así, fíjate. Así. Lo hubiese pintado blanco primero, pero como no lo hice. Pues, voy a tener que ponerle un poquito de pega aquí. Vamos a ver si funciona. Un poquito de pega ahí. Pegarlo ahí. Usar la espatulita esta de silicón. Para aguantarlo para abajo. Para que uno no se queme. Y entonces... Al cruzar de ese, pues va este. Pues entonces vamos a hacer eso. A ponerle otro poquito de pega ahí. A little bit of glue there. Oh my God. And glue that one right there. And then squish it down with the silicone spatula so it doesn't get stuck. Because it'll get stuck to your fingers. And then we'll go over here and hopefully, I don't know, no, I had to put glue on it so it doesn't move around because it moves around. I guess it slips and excuse my son in the background. He's up at seven in the morning. When I can't sleep, he's up. Okay. We move on to over here. Squishy with the spatula. Left a loco la spatula de silicone. Literally, my mom, my mom can make food that the point, like, it's so good that you just want to eat the leftovers, even if it, even if it ruins the flavor a bit. You can, you learn, over the years, you learn to appreciate the sweetness of these foods. Yes, and school, school, in school, in school, we had these little burgers. 
Just like the old thing, the burgers and hot dogs are mine. And the hot dogs they make are like the only good thing you can have for food. Squish it down on the spatula. Lo plato con la spatula de coger como más más espacio, eh. Va cogiendo como más espacio en esos creveses que están vacío. Squish it with the spatula and the crevices that are kind of empty. It makes it more chunkier. I guess it splatters it out because since I'm telling you, this this yarn is so beautiful. Yeah, it's so nice to work with it. Very nice. There we go. I think I'm missing right here. I'm gonna put it right there. Dale un poquito ahí, yo creo que me hace falta ahí. Venemos a ver, ¿no? Mi gente. Vamos a ver cómo queda este conejito, este buri de este conejito. Y volvemos con el buri terminado. El rabito terminado. Vamos a aplastarlo para que se expanda. Que según se expande, coge más espacio. Según no se expanda, va cogiendo más espacio y es más fácil porque si uno lo llena completo. I'm gonna go over here because it feels like it's the one that's across. Voy a ir aquí porque se siente como que es el que queda el cursal del otro. Y lo pongo ahí, vengo con la espátula, bien suavecito, y lo voy pegando. Entonces, pegué ese ahí, pues ahora... Tengo que ir acá. Tengo que ir aquí. Porque este rabito de este lado no se va a ver bien. Pero por lo menos de este lado se va a ver mejor. I know from this side it's not gonna look good, but this at least this side will look a little better. And I think this is gonna be my last DIY doing with this yarn. Because it's not complicated, but it takes a lot of patience and time. It's very time consuming. 
Um, creo que es la última vez que voy a bregar con este hilo porque no es que es malo para bregar con él. Pero coge mucho tiempo. Y yo podría haber hecho un par de cosas ya. Pero he estado pegada en esto. Que no está fácil. Pero sé que el resultado va a ser totalmente esto. Veremos a ver. Espero que el resultado sea esto lo que yo esperaba. Veremos a ver. Que sea lo que Dios quiera, ¿verdad? I hope so. I hope so. I hope it comes out the way I expected it to. You know, um, it takes a lot of time and effort. I think it needs a little bit more glue. It's kind of stuck there, but it's kind of not stuck there. Okay. Okay, so we'll go over here. Oh, fuck you. Lo ponemos directamente ahí y lo aplastamos. We put it directly there and we'll squish it. So like that. Um, I'm just gonna put a whole, not a whole bunch, but enough glue to where the whole thing will stick on there and not get unstuck and get squished. So it covers the whole funny tail. I mean, there's still gonna be some spots left over because it's not gonna be what we expected right well i mean all so far it's what i expected you know i'm over here thinking oh yeah it's gonna be an easy diy it's gonna be so easy yep ya acá pensando si oh si eso va a ser bien fácil para hacer Bien facilito. Y mira. You know what? I should have done pom poms. I should have done pom poms, but I didn't. This is something different. I have not seen it on the anybody's YouTube channel yet. Hopefully, somebody. We'll do one as well. Maybe it's more different than mine. So I'm hoping somebody creates one too. Hey, the more creators there are out there, the more we learn. Mientras más creadores hay, hay allá afuera, más uno aprende. Más uno aprende de lo que uno está haciendo. Voy a poner un poquito de pega aquí para poder llegar a este que está ahí sin 
Nothing, nada. Déjame ver. Okay. So, voy a ponerlo aquí. Voy a poner la pega. Voy a ponerla ahí. Terminamos con el rabito. Vamos a cortarlo aquí. Entonces, vamos a ponerle un poquito de pega ahí. Un poquito de pega ahí y lo pegamos con esto porque no me quiero quemar ahí. Y esta va a ser la parte de rabito que hicimos. So ya tenemos las dos patitas, los rab el rabito hecho y sobró un montón todavía de, de hilo. Aquí. Entonces hay que empezar a bregar con el fundillo este grandote y esto me va a coger tiempo. Esto me va a coger tiempo, mi gente. This is gonna be time consuming. Um, I'm gonna work on it. And I will show you the results when I come back. Voy a trabajar en él y yo les enseño el resultado final. Porque me va a coger tiempo y no quiero tenerlos aquí aburridos. Ok. Vengo para atrás prontito. Hi everyone, we are back and I did do the paws of the butt with yarn and I did the butt, uh, the butt with the yarn. I don't know what yet, side I'm going to use this side. Um, and so what I did was I painted the butt gray instead of putting the yarn on because it was kind of getting kind of complicated and it was just not turning out the way I wanted it to turn out so what we'll do is we'll glue it all on and I will decide if I'm going to use a bow at the end or if I'm going to use the truck which I colored the eggs different colors um, because there were some colors that were just weird um, so yeah so let's start gluing and let's get this DIY over and done with. Oh, yeah. All right, so let me see. Okay. Yeah, there we go. See how it comes out? I mean, it's beautiful yarn to work with, but it's very, very hard to keep it um, from getting up. So I use the silicone brush to put it down, see, and then keep it down. Um, Cause if not, I will be burnt to the dust. So let's start going. I'm gonna have to use a lot of glue because it is yarn. So we will glue that. Glue the leggies on. To the bunny. The heck just fell on. Oh. 
some of my jars. I just have a big mess here. I'm just gonna fix this a little bit. Need a little bit of fixing. Fix it a little bit. I don't wanna touch it because the fluff gets all over my fingers too. It's on low when it burned me. So I just put it on high. Yeah, so I'll be putting them on this way. side better. Let's glue on the bunny's butt. I need to put a lot of glue because oops, sorry about that. Sorry about that. So I'm trying to put the bunny's tail on without stuff falling and stuff is just falling all over the place so that was my phone my other phone um but i keep putting stuff on the edge and that's why they fall because they're on the edge <laughs> all right i got those it's nothing serious just some jars so I think, I think it came out pretty cute. What do you think? With the fluffy feet and the fluffy tail. And if I put this here, I don't think the truck will go good there. I think the bow would go better. I think the bow would be better for it. The bow. Yeah, I'm just going to put the bow on there. Sorry about that again. Left it on the edge. I'm a mess, I tell ya. I'm running out of glue here. And I'll put the, the bow right in the middle and hold it there so the glue can grab on. I mean, it's nice to put the fluffy stuff on it, but you have to do it so gently that it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. And this is an easy DIY because it's just a butt. Like, it's just a bunny butt. And I want to, like, fold these a little bit. Should I? No, I'll just leave them like that. Yep. Straight down, I already cut them as little banners. Oh, uh, I wonder if it's stuck on there. Yep, it's stuck. Okay, and so we'll take one of these little rabbits. I wish they had little rabbit butts, but not even in. In Hobby Lobby, I found any. So, yeah. Plus, I think it would be better to put a rabbit so like that, you know, the butt belongs to a rabbit. And that is it. That is it for this DIY, guys. Finally, it is done. Let's puff up this bow a little bit. Make it look a little better.
we are. There it is. All done. All done. All done. The bunny's butt. Um, I had some jute twine to put on it in the back for it because it has the two little holes there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of, I think this jute twine is so thin. I think it fits through the little hole. Yeah. It's right through the little hole. And so, I'm just gonna cut it right there because I like the little knot effect. There. And I'll do a knot. I'm gonna have to do a double knot probably because the jute twine is so thin. Yeah, have to do. Yep, a double knot there, and then let me put this one in through here. Let me show you what I'm doing because I'm used to doing DIY. I have to put a little bit of glue on this here. make sure you know it turns like into a little needle and we can thread it through there we go and let's do the double knot that's just in case you know I sell it or whatever um, it doesn't fall Should be good enough there we go and there it is there it is my people there it is so i hope you liked our diy for today i will be having another one coming up soon for easter and that is this is the rabbit's booty with the yarn on the tail and as you can see, I made a bow. I was gonna put a truck, but I made a bow. And yeah, that's the end of it. So if you liked this DIY and you like um, my DIYs or my hauls, please give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. And it also helps me know that you like my content and it helps me in so many ways and I also wanted to say subscribe please subscribe so I know that you're out there watching and hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video with that being said bye mis amores I love you guys Never let anybody tell you different. I love you guys. And this love comes from messages. It's until my next one. Bye.